The first step in the formation of a legal business structure that provides liability to the incorporator is to fill out and file what is known as the Articles of Incorporation. The Articles of Incorporation is normally a two-page document that provides all the necessary information about the business being formed. The Articles of Incorporation can be filed in any state, with each state providing its own requirements and filing fees. Let's go over a sample Articles of Incorporation now. At the very top of the document, in the center, we see the words Articles of Incorporation in all capital letters. And right underneath, we see the word OF in all caps as well. Directly below that is a line. In this line, you will insert the name of your respective business. For example, if your business is called Divine Pizza, the top heading will read Articles of Incorporation of Divine Pizza Incorporated. The ink is added to the business name if it is a C corporation, S corporation, or a nonprofit. If it's a limited liability company, then LLC will be added to the business name. The next section is the first article, Article 1, Name. In this section, you will insert the name of the corporation, the business address, the county, and the state. You will also insert the name of the state where your registered agent's office will be located. So as an example, the business name is Divine Pizza Inc. The street address or business address is 555 5 5th Avenue Suites 201. The county is New York. and the state, New York. And in this example, Delaware will be the state for your registered agent. The next section is the second article, Article 2, Duration. In this section, you will decide how long you wish the company to be in existence. A normal practice for duration is to have the company exist perpetually, which means forever. So as you can see from this sample document, a simple sentence will suffice. The next section is the third article, Article 3, Purpose. In this section, you will state your purpose for existing or doing business. In this section, you can have a general statement as to why the company exists, or you can give detailed information depending on the business structure. So for this example, the purpose for which this corporation is organized is to engage in any such lawful act and or activity under the general law of Delaware. other than the banking business, trust company business, or the practice of a profession not permitted to be incorporated by and pursuant to the Delaware Corporation Statute. The next section is the fourth article, Article 4, Register Agent, Office Agent. A registered agent is a person or business who is responsible for receiving all mail, communications, and important documents on behalf of your business and forwarding such information to you. Registered agents can handle other important aspects of the business as well. In this section, you will simply fill out the name and address of your respective agent. So for this example, we will insert the name of your registered agent, which is Harvard Business Services, Inc. and their street address, which is 16192 Coastal Highway, Lewis, Delaware, 19958. The next section is the fifth article, Article 5. This is the liability section, which clarifies the liability of the officers, employees, and shareholders according to the particular state of incorporation. In this case, this article is applicable to Delaware State Corporation Statute.
The next section is the notary section. This is where the incorporator or incorporators must appear before a notary public with their identification to sign the document in his or her presence. In this section, the state and county refers to the state and county of which the incorporators are currently signing this document. So, for example, if you're in New York at the Notary Public, then the top caption will read State of New York, County of New York. The date will be inserted and the document will be signed in the presence of the notary. In this example, we will insert the names of the incorporators now. Under the names and addresses of the incorporators, there will appear a statement of acknowledgement from the notary that all information is true and correct. And below the acknowledgement is a place for the notary to sign and print his or her name and to write when the commission expires. After this, the notary will stamp the document with a notary seal. After completing this step with the notary, you will then mail the document with the necessary filing fee to the appropriate Secretary of State. In this case, it will be filed in the state of Delaware. And this is the basic understanding of the Articles of Incorporation and how to complete the form. In the majority of cases, an attorney will fill out and file the Articles of Incorporation on behalf of the incorporator. However, you may wish to do this procedure yourself or you may create your own business that fills out and files documents on behalf of your clients. As we wrap up this lesson, consider these questions. Would you fill out your own articles of incorporation or would you have an attorney complete it for you?